Ready. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So if you would like to see how I turned into this, please keep on watching. What a wonderful Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you obviously read through the title, I will be filming a little get ready with me. I decided I will show you all kind of my go-to makeup look, the one which I always do, whatever occasion I think is suitable for anything. I usually do just makeup if I'm going out, if I'm going to uni, whatever the occasion is, I think it suits all of them. The most exciting part will be as highly, highly, highly requested, I will be showing everyone how I do my eyeliner, all the little tips and tricks. Yeah, so I'll stop talking and let's get into it. So obviously as the first step, I moisturise and I'm using the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturiser. I find that this really works well for my skin. Okay, so now that I've prepped and moisturised my face, I know it may sound really, really weird. I usually always start and do my eyeliner as a first step. The reason why is I just like to clean up my eyeliner with makeup wipe because I always just struggle with getting eyeliner to be perfect and it's always a very difficult battle to win against eyeliner. So I know other people obviously use concealer to clean up their eyeliner, but that just doesn't work for me. For the eyeliner, I am using the Rimmel London Glam's Eyes Liquid Liner which looks like this and is in extra black. Just a disclaimer, this is not an easy process, at least for me. A lot of people just do it like that. It just doesn't work for me. So what I do first is take as much product off of the tip, just because then if you have a lot of product on the little tip, when you go in to do your wing, you might have just a lot of product and um, it may come out a bit wonky. So, so what you do is you analyze your face and you just look down. And what you want, or what I obviously do, is I start off, I go at the end of my eyelashes, so where the eyelashes come out, and I draw a little line. A little stroke like that, you can see it. And then I do exactly the same here. Like that. Obviously when you look at the wings, they look completely different. But that's kind of what you want. You're not looking for anything perfect. If you can get it perfect, I'm, I'm happy for you. It just doesn't work like this for me. So I just map out the little wing. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and outline all of your outer corner of the eye. Okay, so I've outlined both of my eyes. Next step is we're gonna go and connect the outline that you've just done with the rest of the wing. So we've connected the um, outline of the eye with the wing as shown. Don't worry if it's not clean, if it's just not exactly how you want it, because then we're gonna obviously go and clean it with the makeup wipe. Okay, so I've connected this other eye as well. So now is the step that we're gonna go around and clean the eyeliner. Just use any makeup wipe. So when I go and look, I don't look at myself in the mirror straight, just because obviously your eyes and your eyelashes cover up your eyeliner. So what you wanna do, you kinda of wanna tilt your face like kind of like this in the mirror. I don't know if it makes sense, like you're kind of tilting it. So when you're looking at yourself, you can actually see all of the line on your eye. And this way you can see where you have to clean it, where you have to top it up and things like that. Okay, so now that I've just cleaned up all of the weird bits that were coming out of my eyeliner, we go back in and we have to go and perfect it. Now, this is the dangerous step. Every time I look at my eyeliner, I overanalyze my eyeliner like badly and there's been times which i didn't go out i refused to leave the house just had like a mental breakdown i know it sounds stupid but it's because sometimes when you look at your eyeliner you just want it to be as perfect as possible if you're like me and you struggle to get kind of like the perfect match um this is what works for me i kind of go and clean it out um and then eventually it comes out similar 
I've accepted throughout the years that the one thing which I learned is just not going to be identical and you're going to have to be okay with that. So essentially what you want to achieve is you want your outer wing to be as thin as possible and then obviously that connects to the rest of your eye. Now I've just gone and perfected it, kind of filled in get the gaps which were missing and um, it kind of looks pretty similar to me. Um, as a guideline for the wing, um, I kind of use the end of my brow um, and I, I just like it to kind of like connect with my brow. Overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. Obviously it's not perfect, there are imperfections, but the more you kind of go and you pick it, the worst it's just gonna be. Anyways, after, uh, you're just gonna go and put mascara on and when you put mascara on, at least I find that any of the extra imperfections which you can see are just going to be covered anyway with your eyelashes so don't worry about that but this is kind of the eyeliner which i always go for it's not really natural but it's also not um, really bulky or like too thick it's kind of in the middle um, but that's usually how i do my eyeliner after i finish my eyeliner i usually just go and just put concealer on all of the blemishes on my face for the concealer, I'm using the um, Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. It covers the blemishes so nicely and it's just su such a perfect match for my skin. Thinking about my eyeliner, I've done eyeliner for now a good 10 years. So for someone which has been doing eyeliner for that long, surely you'd expect like a professional like teaching you eyeliner. So I'm sorry if the eyeliner experience wasn't as you expected it to be but that's kind of like how i do it and i've had so many eyeliner looks throughout the years i've i've started off with like under the eye and then i kind of went and experimented like different wings very questionable looks like very questionable in 2018 i actually I went through I'll probably say like the weirdest stage because my eyeliner was on another level like it was like the wing was so long that it was actually coming up to my hairline. I, I, I'm not, I don't want to exaggerate, but it was really, really long. And I'm surprised that no one picked up on that and was like, Les, you look ridiculous. Like no one told me, Les, you look weird. So I kind of went all throughout 2018 thinking, oh look, I'm cool. I looked awful. So after I've done my concealer, I go in and I apply my foundation. Um, my, my favorite foundation at the minute is this one here and is the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Um, I just go in and then I just go and apply as much as I want. And I feel like with when I use a brush, it comes out really nicely and silky and smooth. Don't forget to blend it in your ear. In your hairline of course so when you're happy with your foundation i usually if i have quite you know big spots or any like visible blemishes still come through my face i just go again with the concealer so i just go and dot on the visible blemishes okay so when you've applied all the foundation or the concealer and you're happy with how your skin looks the next thing I do, I obviously go and set it. Now, I don't bake a lot, again, because otherwise it kind of comes out quite cakey in my face. So what I do, I just get the setting powder and I just loosely just apply it to my face. For the setting powder, I'm using the MUA Makeup Academy, like this. Of course, my favorite setting powder is the Laura Mercier, but I didn't have money to buy it. So I found this and I actually really, really like this powder. And I just apply it like this kind of like it's just a powder all over my face but I kind of go and I focus on this on the areas which are more oily on my skin also guys I forgot to mention that I finished um, my second year at uni um, about nearly a week ago and yeah it was such a odd experience the whole you know being at uni in quarantine um I hated it. I mean, I didn't like it. I kind of felt like I wasn't learning anything. I won't lie to you. I wasn't understanding things properly. And yeah, like, I wasn't the biggest fan. I couldn't wait to get my exam over and done with. I'm so happy I've handed everything in, but I'm, I'm just happy that second year finished and 
you know, now I've got nothing to do. That's not great either. Okay, so now that we've applied the kind of loose setting powder on your face, what I like to do, I like that to soak in my skin. So whilst that soaks in, I go and do my eyebrows. Okay, so eyebrows to me are like the most important part. You know, you can just take out everything from makeup bag. I need my eyebrows to be done. Because even though I've got quite thick hair, they're quite fair. I don't know if you can tell, like they're quite sparse and new so i kind of like i'm never happy with the way they look as the first step for my eyebrows which i usually i usually do this step every single day so if i'm not wearing that much makeup this is what i do i go in with the nyx uh, micro brow pencil in the color ash brown and it looks like this and i kind of like it just to use it as a guideline to map and outline my eyebrows Okay, so now that you kind of map out your brows like this, next step, I use the NYX pomade like this, and it's in the color brunette. What we want is definition, and what we want is to go and fill in any of the gaps which you can clearly see in my eyebrows. You want it to slowly like, you know, go from light to dark, like a gradient. Just remember this one thing that eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. So again, you don't want them to look identical because your eyebrows alone are not identical. Okay, so when you applied your pomade, what you want to do is you obviously want it to blend everything out. So with your spoolie, whatever you have, go and brush everything, brush your hair up. Once your face, eyebrows and eyeliner is done, what I do is I lightly contour my face. Okay, so I like to have quite a tanned look. What I do as a first step, um, I'm just using my all time favourite bronzer by Too Faced. Honestly, I've used so much of this that clearly there is none left, but it smells amazing. It actually smells like chocolate. And I kind of just like... Uh, some product on my face just to give me like a light color and what i do i just go in the eye like this so that i can give a color to my eyelid as well because i feel like she was missing out you know and then i go in again but this time what i do is i just apply it to my neck just to make sure that all of my makeup is nicely blended and seamless For the actual contour, um, I've just picked up another Morphe brush and it's just like an angled fluffy brush. And then for the actual product, um, I don't actually have a um, contour palette, so I'm just using this Dior bronzer like this. One of the most exciting steps for me is to apply blush. I just love it. So for the blush, I'm using this Morphe Trio Set blush. So what I like to do, I just I just dip in all of the three colours. So I'll just go like that. And smile. And I like to apply a lot, a lot of um, blush on my face. Like extremely. Because then blush kind of fades away anyway. So... You know, the more you put, the better. Okay, so when you're happy with the amount of blush you apply, I go in with my highlighter, and today I'm using the Morphe in, um, I believe it's, in, it's the High Impact in Extra. So what I do is, I love to um, highlight my brow bone. So, dip it, and I highlight. Once you've highlighted your brow bone, I also highlight the inner corner of my eye. I just feel like it opens up your eye and it just looks really nice. Then I also go and apply it on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Woo! I am popping. Once you've done blinding people, 
the next step is to apply mascara this is like one of my favorite ever products it's the maybelline new york last sensational and is honestly like my favorite favorite drugstore product i just find it amazing and it makes my eyelashes actually look like i'm wearing like false eyelashes okay so before that i'm just gonna curl quickly my lashes i usually like hold it like this for about 30 seconds wow woohoo I also usually add a lot, a lot of layers of mascara. I'm that girl. I, I literally sometimes apply like even five layers. I know that's really unhealthy, but. Second layer. Layer number three. Okay, so when you've applied your mascara, Please do not forget your bottom lashes. I can't stress enough how when you apply mascara on the bottom lashes, it just makes a look like it just completes the look. At least for me, that's that's the case. But oh. does anyone else have pets, cats, whatever it is, and every time they do their makeup, like their hair sticks to your face? Is it just me? Because every single time I try to do my makeup, like their hair is like in the air everywhere and just sticks to my face. Once you're done taking off your cat's hair from your face, um, to make sure that my brows do not move and they stay like this, I use the NYX Control Freak, which kind of works. So I usually just brush up my brows. Okay, so usually with my lips, I either use my favorite, favorite, favorite thing ever, which is the Fenty Lip Gloss, or I go in and I just apply like the little velvet matte lipstick. I kind of want a color to my lip. The first thing I do, I outline my lips and I'm using this NYX lip liner in the color London. Okay, so once you've outlined your lips, to so what I like to do, uh, I like to like, I kind of like, like to blend in some of the colour on my lips and then what I do with my finger, I go and I blend out the colour and then we're going to go apply this NYX lip cream and it's like the perfect match to the um, lip liner. Okay, so once you've applied your lipstick, that's about it. This is kind of the look I always go for and this is my go-to look, which I always, always pick. Of course, as I'm filming this video, I just thought, why not curl my hair? You know, I've come this far, why not carry on? Okay, so before cutting my hair, I like it to brush it through really nicely. And then obviously always remember a heat protecting spray. So I'm just using this one here. And sometimes when I apply the spray to my hair, I find it like it can make my hair really wet. And I just don't like that. So what I do is I spray all of this to my brush and then I just go in and brush my hair. So that all the product is distributed evenly. You know, you don't have like quite humid and soaked hair. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for some nice Hollywood mermaid wave. That wasn't me. Okay, so once you brush your hair, I have quite thick hair. So it takes a long time to curl my hair. And what I usually have to do, I have to section it. like this and I'm using this Mark Hill um, curling iron which has been gifted by my best friend Finn but I'm not sure if it was gifted it was more like Finn I need it and I never gave it back okay so this is the last section I look really weird um so I was just wanted to show you guys that if let's say you need to straighten your hair but you don't want to actually plug in a straightener and there's bits which you just want to straighten it like a little bit what I do is I like grab whatever piece which I need, a little bit of straightening. And with the iron, I just go and I flatten it out like this. Woo! Oh, 
god I feel like so bouncy <laughs> okay so once you've done curling your hair and looking like Goldilocks the next step which I do to kind of make this whole look a little bit more chill so what I like to do I like to go and brush it out like that so it kind of like gives it more like a softer look But yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm happy with my overall look. You know, I just got ready for no reason. I'm probably gonna go and sit on my bed after this, but who cares? The main idea for this is just like, you know, to feel a little bit better. I feel like I'm a new person, especially in this quarantine, since we haven't been able to put makeup on or go out and things like that. So it just makes me really happy. So yeah, um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, my go-to look. Oh, obviously the hair was just a bonus. I don't really do my hair like this all the time, but I just thought, why not do it? And let me know if you have any tips and tricks for eyeliner and please leave them in the comment box down below. And for everyone that has requested to have a look at my eyeliner, I really hope that this video helped you. I know it wasn't the best, but this is kind of like what I do with my eyeliner and with my makeup look. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with everyone that you know, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And with that being said, I wish you all a wonderful day.